Hola bonitas, welcome back to my channel. Today I am actually going to be doing an Ulta shop with me and haul. This is the first one for the new year and you guys know the beginning of the January there's always a bunch of new new at Ulta so I'm excited to go in store and see what they have that is new and fresh so let's just go ahead and get right into this video. Nothing makes me happier than an Ulta trip. I just feel like it's so much fun and especially during this time of the year I feel like we always see some new news so I'm here just walking into the store and I'm really excited about this specific Ulta because they always have stuff in stock so let's see what we have. Okay, the first thing that I see right away are these, the Cream Shop sheet masks that I've been looking for. I'm so happy they had them. And they also had the Ariana Grande Mod perfume that I wanted, the vanilla one. And I also am seeing that MAC is releasing skincare products. What do you guys think of this? I feel like it would be really cool to see how it does with my sensitive rosacea skin. Up, Juvia's Place just launched new Radiant Finish Foundations. And I have to do a review on these because they're actually really good. Okay. So e.l.f. release lipsticks. I didn't pick one up, but now I'm like, wait, I should go back and get one because these colors look really pretty. Um, they have here the primers and also bronzers. These look interesting as well. This is what I was really excited about. These lipsticks, every time I see them at any drugstore, any old time, been seeing that they're sold out so i was really happy that they had some in stock um now the nyx cosmetics blur foundation i did a review on this you guys can check that out i will have it linked down below so that you guys can see it next up some more nyx cosmetics nunu i'm really excited about the nyx brow glue because i am a very very big fan of their brow glue and they actually recently just launched tinted ones so that's what i'm really really excited about should i do a review on this because i use this every day the clear one not the tinted ones okay this is just me shopping looking for a new lippy because your girl loves a good lip combo next up we have here the new makeup revolution concealer and also lip products and here's me swatching more stuff because you guys know me i have to see what all these products are all about these morphe 2 blushes are actually pretty nice and now let's go back to the car i am back in the car i was able to find a few things i feel like they're still bringing in some new stuff so i'm gonna have to come back for another trip perhaps at the end of the month or the beginning of february but uh, i'm so excited to show you guys what i purchased i'm ready to give you guys a nice little haul um so i have to say i like this cute little ulta bag okay first things first we have here the cream shop hello kitty and friends my lucky stars print and essence sheet masks there's three masks in here and these are in celebration for the lunar new year 2023 fun fact growing up i literally was obsessed with anything and everything hello kitty so when i saw this little collection i was like i have to check it out um my other ulta that i went to a few days ago they were all out of the sheet masks and i really wanted to try them out so i was really happy to see that this other ulta had these in stock and in here you do get three look how adorable these are um, and these are just supposed to do a great job of promoting a plump soft youthful skin um, they're rich in vitamin c to help brighten calm and reduce puffiness and they also contain honey to help hydrate and reduce appearance of fine lines so i'm very excited to be using these i think they are so so cute and these are made in korea and they are cruelty free i think these were ten dollars so you get three for ten which i think is a pretty good deal I personally love a good sheet mask moment, so I had to get my hands on that. Next up, we have here the new e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with 4% niacinamide to help even out the complexion. Um, so many people have been raving about this. It's actually been completely sold out um, from Ulta stores, so I was like, I have to get my hands on this. So I was very excited when I was able to find this one because I was like... Let me take it. And I've been seeing beautiful promo on this campaign. Um, I've seen that Elf recommends using this together with the um, flawless filter. So I'm gonna be using both of them to see if I get like that beautiful, like effortless complexion. I feel like a lot of makeup brands are gonna be coming out with products that are kind of like a makeup skincare hybrid this year. So it's really good to kind of see like skincare and makeup come together because I feel like at the end of the day, it's all about how your skin underneath the makeup looks. So it's really good that they're coming out with these type of products. I also did see at my local Ulta that L'Oreal came out with these primers that are skincare based as well. And they're really reminding me of the Makeup Forever ones. I don't know what it is. This is literally Makeup Forever vibes, especially the packaging. So we'll have to see about that. But that's just kind of what I was getting from it. Okay, next up we have here the Ariana Grande Mod Vanilla Perfume. 
This perfume smells phenomenal. When I went in store, I was like, what in the world? This is so delicious. And I'm personally somebody that really enjoys travel size perfumes because I like to switch out my perfume as much as possible. I do have like my staple perfumes that it's just like individual um, perfumes, but like actual little travel sizes are my favorite because i feel like i go through them so quickly and i like to change them as the seasons change right now my current favorite one is the replica coffee break one because this is like fall winter vibes for me but i'm slowly running out of it so i'm excited to kind of go into something like this for like valentine's day season and early spring let me see if i can read the notes on this but as soon as i'm done using this one by replica which i'm almost done i'm gonna go right into this one i love a good travel size moment so the top is Pink Frisia, Frisia, Juicy Plum and Creamy Musks. The middle is Oris Butter, White Praline, Jasmine Petals, and the base is Vanilla Absolute with Cocoa Butter. It honestly smells so good. If you guys have a chance to go to Ulta to smell these, definitely do because they're really nice. Next up, we have lippies. So we're just gonna go right into the lippies. That's pretty much all I was able to get. There were some other items that I wanted to try out, but they're still not in store. For example, the new Tarte um, Creamy Beauty Wand, like the Contour Wand. I wanna try that one out, but it's not in store yet. Also, Milani has some new products. I know they have um, their new powder that I really, really wanna try out. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what they had. And other stuff I had tried out, like the new Juvia's Place Foundation. I've done a review on that on Instagram and TikTok. I do plan on doing a longer format version of that here on um, YouTube, so definitely stay tuned for that. They also had the new NYX Cosmetic Explorer Foundation, which I have a review here on YouTube if you wanna watch it. So they kind of had some items that I already purchased, and then there's some items that are still coming into Ulta. So I may have to purchase them online at Ulta because they are available online, but they're not in store just yet. So we shall see, but I do have some lip products that I wanna talk about. So I think first I wanna talk about this right here, Makeup Revolution. They did come out with some new lip liners and also some new lip creams. Now, before I get into this, I do wanna mention that I did show you guys that Makeup Revolution came out with a concealer and I was very close to picking it up because I think it was only $7, but here are the cons about it. First thing, lately I have not been loving a matte concealer. I would rather have a matte foundation and then have a hydrating concealer just because I crease a lot. So I need hydration over something separating super fast. I wasn't a big fan of that shade range. I feel like the shade range was very limited. Perhaps maybe online there's more shades, but in person that shade range was very, very limited. And I was like, ugh. We need more shades. Well, I didn't pick up the concealers, but I did see that their powders were sold out. They did come out with a translucent powder. I am very hit or miss with the translucent powder because sometimes translucent powder on me can look very, very light, especially with flash. I wasn't really intrigued too much to try it. I'm more excited to try the Milani one. So hopefully I can get my hands on that soon. But um, yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up the lippy products because they're new and they're looking really nice so this lip liner is the irl filter finish lip definer in the shade americano brown they're retractable and they are very very creamy like look at that i love a good brown lip liner they also came out with these irl whipped lip creams i feel like this year is going to be the year of lip creams like that hydrating long wearing transfer resistant type of formula i feel like we've seen a lot of glosses and a lot of um like shiny lipsticks that i feel like we're gonna start to see this type of formula again and i feel like these colors together will look really pretty then the next lip product that i have here are these new l'oreal lippies this one right here it's l'oreal right i always get yes l'oreal they have these new like hydrating matte lip products and look at this packaging it's so pretty it's very luxe um and i picked this up in the shade la rose activist i feel like this color is like your lip but better but it's also that really beautiful like pop of color especially for like valentine's day season and february is when i love a good red lip and i feel like it's not even red red it, it has like a little hint of like pink in there so i'm very excited to be using this i almost want to try it on right now and kind of see what it looks like let's see Ooh. and this also gives that like soft like lip cream vibe 
Yeah, this is pretty, very comfortable. It's like a new formula that they came out with. You can even make it a little bit more sheer, I feel like, but it's really pretty. I love a lip color that just is like a pop of color. The last lip product I have here is the NYX Cosmetics. This is Milky Gloss. Now they do have a whole collection of these and I have purchased some of these, but this one really caught my eye. I love anything pink. You guys know with like the Valentine's Day season coming up, I just feel like these are like the perfect lippies. I did see Kendall Alfred on TikTok do a haul and she talked about this product. And I was like, wait, I need that too. And it's a very, very light pink, but I feel like this is almost great like as a lip topper. So I'm gonna swatch it right here. Like you can barely see the tint of it, but I feel like as a lip topper on top of like a nude lip or like a pinky nude lip is, a dream. So that's pretty much it for all of my products that I purchased in this ultra trip. Not that many, but definitely some essentials that I wanted to pick up. Um, and I'm also very excited to see more products start to come into Ulta because I feel like a lot of it is online right now. It's always fun to go into Ulta during this time of the year. Like the beginning of the year, I feel like it's so empty in there because everybody's just exhausted from the holidays. Um, but also at the same time, a lot of new product is coming in because it's like a new year. And you guys know, I feel like beauty brands literally launch so many new makeup products especially like foundations and concealers at the start of the year so i'm very excited to see what's to come if you guys do want a review on the juvia's place foundation i can do that for youtube like a full long in-depth review because i have it right here. but if you guys want to watch my thoughts and review on it now go to my instagram and tiktok i have a short form video on this but Little hint, I am enjoying this. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing these type of videos for you guys. I love doing shop with me's and hauls are super fun to do because I feel like it's a little bit of a vlog style, a little bit more relaxed, you know? Um, so definitely let me know. Also, if you guys have any recommendations on new products you want me to try out or you want me to check out at Ulta next time I go, please let me know so that I can go ahead and add that to my little list of things that I need to be on the lookout for. I will be seeing you guys very, very soon. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed and stay beautiful and i'll talk to you later bye bonita